Okay, so as you noticed before in drop down menu, we looked on some properties, but let's look about other UI. So what do we have right here? If you remember in a Windows, we have all of these check boxes, almost all open except brush creator. We go into this a little bit later, but overall in the tools, we have options to select what we have brush right now. We can select to the pen if we need dry. So this is our tools we're going to use. Next, as we selecting different tool, our brush properties below this is changed. Notice when I switch to the pen, we have a different options for our pen. And as we change it for eraser or fill pen bucket, it's changed as well. So depend on what tools we're selecting, our brush property is changing. And it's make very logical to put them below our tools so we can easy, um, as we're changing, modify those size and we're going to them. But also below you notice we have it additional brushes. So, and this is already preset, pre-created brushes. You can create your own brushes and save them and also share with other creators as well or download it or purchase online and add them more but right here already pre-made pre-created brushes which is um have different settings so let's example right here we have a one brush and i can start brushing paint and you can see how it's modifying and it's using these settings that we are pre-creating for example using flame currently and all the size different but if I want, I can go and click on my preset. Notice our change some bond particles. And now we have a total different brush. We can use it. The presets, it's help us very fast to select the brush you like the most. As well, we're working on the brushes. We can go look right now on our right side. And on the right side, we start with Navigator. In Navigator Windows, it uh, help us to preview what we see. Notice also I can zoom through the Navigator as well. I can zoom in and out by using scroll button or shortcut key on our Canvas workspace. To have our Navigator and a thumbnail view there, it's helped to see overall our work, how we look and how it's created. And one thing I found it's very useful to have a navigator maybe just a little bit bigger so we can see easy so that mean you have a little bit bigger space and if you work with your image and you think you will create it work maybe share on instagram or other places preview on a thumbnail is very useful because right here it's what most people will see and if you want them to click on your link or other ones you want to be sure your thumbnail it's look nice so the navigator also help us to move around you can see we can go directly to any place so for example if we work on quite a bit close up and we're drawing inside here create small details next we can take and navigate around our area notice the brush size stays same not relative to how much we zoom in and out of our elements so if i zoom out our brush size relative to this if we zoom way out it's become much larger and if we zoom in the brush stayed non-relative to the size so it is keep it on size okay we also have an option to rotate our canvas if we need it and it does help when you work around and maybe you try to add some elements on this size so we can rotate a little bit Add to this when you start painting and in one project the example was painting with a person i want to add flames to this so this rotation tool was actually quite a bit useful okay okay so let's go ahead put it back and you know what we'll just go type zero press enter and it will reset for us our rotation notice as we're going we can press in and type and we're going a little bit more around this as we start working okay under this we have our palette and this is palette will relate it to the what colors it's will using in our brush you can also select the color directly we can make our gradient or we can use it take special peek from the our image 
So this is different way we can access it. We can also preload some of the palettes and we'll look on this later. Below we have our other windows where we have the layers and currently we're drawing everything on same layer. But its problem is if you want to modify or edit, it will affect both images. So for example, if I go erase right here and let's go set my erase to 100%, You'll, you notice I'm erasing everything. So I'm erasing the top and bottom, both images. What if I want just erase the red element? For, the, for this, I need work with the layers. If you work with Photoshop or Affinity or other women, you're probably very familiar with the layers, and this is very common. So layers, it separate each element. So for this, if I want to create a new layer, let's create, click plus and create new layer. And of course, I'm going to select a different brush and I'm using this brush. Now, this is brush is separated from previous layer. So you can see they're all different. And it's helped me because if I want to again modify just what I paint, you can see right here, I will modify just this layer. Again, you're probably very familiar with the layers if you're using different applications like Photoshop or other ones. The layers also can be interact between each other and in blending mode it's allowed us to set this interaction between them also opacity and of course you can lock the layer from modification so if you don't want accidentally to do something on this layer because maybe you just click accidentally or does also some layers can be important and we'll look on some of the masking and other ones later but overall here's an area where we can create and modify our layers. Some of the properties of the layers you can see on the bottom we can access. So and we're going over this option sleep it later. The another menu is not here, but I want to show you it is a brush creator. And this is was added in a flame paint four very powerful new ways we can create a new brushes um, very unique and with particles and other things and we'll work on this later. So you notice right here our brush is floating window. Almost any window you can actually undock or put it back in place or you can even add our brushes to additional menu. So if you want it, we can pl place brush creator directly on our bar in adjustment. The docking and docking is done very easy by moving your mouse, click, hold down and move out. And here's we have our floating or we can put it back. Again, it's up to you. How you want to organize your UI, you can move on left and right this in a way you like it, but overall it's very flexible and nice UI. So let's go ahead and the next tutorials start looking more on the properties of each uh, tool what we have in uh, Flame Painter 4.